Now, A B, man. First, 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 Mikey Garcia. Cause what you think about this fight? Let me start it off with the right question. Who the fuck is Mikey Garcia? Let me tell you what I think. We had a conversation a couple weeks ago, boom, and we were talking about Sean Porter. Now, remember Sean Porter's career went up after he beat Adrian Bronson. Remember that? Yeah. Skyrocket. This is that same situation. This is that same situation where if Mikey beat Adrian Bronner, everybody know Adrian Bronner. Y'all know he's a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? But Adrian Bronner, the, the shit talker, the most shit talker since Floyd left. So I think it's, it's the same thing how you broke it down to me. It's a stepping stone if he win. It don't look good for him. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like they didn't, I'm not going to say they threw him to the wolves. Shit. I mean, we ain't going to never forget what he did to actually Theo Payne. You know what I'm saying? You saying they threw him to the wolves? Mikey Garcia. Yeah, they did. I'm not going to call Adrian Browner no wolf. I'm just not. I'm not going to call him no wolf. He's a wolf, man. I'm not. He's a wolf. I'm not. At his league. You know what I'm saying? At his league. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he'll beat your average yeah. fighter. He'll beat your average yeah, fighter, bro. He'll leave. He ain't see, no regular see, fighter. Adrian, Adrian, Adrian Bonner beat your ass when he feel like he got something to prove. Yeah. He beat Ashley Theo Payne. That was something to prove. Like, that was Floyd, just a floor, yeah. He was like, fuck yeah, nigga, wait. Yeah, I'm about to beat this nigga up. ass. I don't care about yeah. no, fuck, no belt. Yeah, I'm yeah, beating this Richard, nigga Richard, ass for Floyd Richard, ass, Richard, nigga, for talking that shit. Yeah, but remember, That's why but he, remember he, yeah, but remember he went in and he didn't think McDonald what McDonald was. Yeah, he Look did. What Man, what that, that nigga so, head was so big, boy, that God yeah, damn. Yeah, and then he said that yeah, to the, he, yeah. you know what he said? God can't even do He said something about God in his uh 24-7 uh interview before the fight. He was just so cocky, man. He had to be humble. You know what I mean? Yeah, had to be. Yeah, he had to get humble, man. Like even I think Al Hammond yeah. was like, man, we finna let your ass get beat the fuck up, man. They and, fight. Then, and then you gotta and then you got to remember, uh, I don't know if you watched the Mikey Garcia interview. He said it like, yeah, man, the nigga's a great boxer, but he gets sidetracked. That's what Mikey Garcia just said. You know, like, he gets sidetracked real easily. And that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. You know, he said that. He said, cause see, cause, but at the same time, I don't hear AB talking that much shit like he used to do. Well, AB got humble, man. He got, look, let me tell you what happened. Yeah. Here. They just sent his ass, he got beat up by, he got, he was all hyped up, then they sent him out there, he got beat up by Earl Spence, it's fine. He got beat up, but Sean Porter didn't beat him up, but you, he, he roughed him up and took yeah. an L against Sean Porter. I hear you. You know what I mean? So they, he humble now, man, you know what I mean? He ain't, he, you know what I mean? He humble, man. But I tell you yeah, one thing. he's back on good times with Floyd. Yeah, he back on good, yeah, he back on good times with Floyd. But he just, you know, he just nah, gone through his shit, man. He ain't, he ain't no perfect. He just a bo- he just a man. He ain't perfect. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't none of us that. What I mean, my man, I'm not gonna call him no wolf, is because he this ain't no fight where he really got something to prove. When his brother got something to prove, he got something to prove, bro. Hey, look, I tell you why he got something to prove, bro. He just got his car shot up, right? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And these yeah. niggas dogged his man. Don't, you don't be on YouTube and shit like that. But these niggas on YouTube were dogging them out. You you doing too much. You need to nah, 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 nah. I'm telling you, man, I gave up on you. You know what I mean? They ain't gay. They didn't just talk bad about this man. They're getting this car shut up. The way I see it, I see the negative as a positive. Because when some shit like that happen, when a bullet goes to your door, your door, you don't understand how you ain't getting hit by that bullet. You be thinking like, damn, dude, I could have been paralyzed, dead. You know what I mean? It's making you look at life a little different. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking like this fight, he get to come back at all that shit, man. He, he, he can use this shit for but, the fuel, but, man. But, but let's be honest. Let's be honest on what type of nigga we talking about. We talking about a cocky nigga who probably really looked at it like, oh, these niggas can't touch me. These niggas can't touch me. Dog, AP, dog. We talking about an Ohio nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This is what we, we talk about a nigga. We talk about a nigga who just beat up a nigga for beating his bowling. And that's what about the robbery case he's fighting. Yeah. Beat up a nigga who beat him in bowling. You feel me? So, what I'm saying is, he's the same type of, he's a little nigga. Nigga can't touch me, dog. Shot my whip up. Next one gonna be bulletproof. Come on, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we talking about 
fuck A B. Nah, man, you can tell, dog. Like, you just saying it, though, man. A nigga, every time this man then came down more humbler and more humbler and more humbler. It's to the point now, I got to wake his ass up. Like, nigga, snap out of it. Fuck the old humble shit. You got fucked up because you moved up in weight. You know what I mean? You were doing too much. They don't want to see you shine like that. They don't want to see another Floyd, man. You know what I mean? Floyd fucked up the game to, 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 for, for promoters. You feel me? You got niggas like Earl Spence, Devin Haney, and all them. They don't want to sign under no, uh, they don't want to sign under nobody. You know what I mean? Because they, they, and, and let me tell you, and, and let me tell you something about Mikey Garcia. so long, man, that these niggas' careers probably won't even last that long. Exactly. And then, and then, like, exactly. right, if you want to catch up with Floyd and be better than Floyd, you want to fight three, four times a year. Especially Come in your early, early years. You want to get to it quick. By the time you're 25, you want to be at, like, 38, 38 and 0. I don't believe it's a wolf fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't because I, I, I ain't got faith in Adrian like that. I'm not saying Adrian the wolves. But if I just don't say, Adrian about to knock this nigga up. No, I can't say that. I'm rolling with AB, man. See, what it is, is that nigga know he got Loma Checo in that weight club in the, in the 130. He got, he got Robert Easter Jr. He got Tank Davis. Mikey don't want it with them niggas, man. Mikey should have fought Gambo no. or somebody. You know what I mean? Mikey ain't fought yeah, no. Yeah. Mikey ain't fought no big names. 
in the 130, but he been, you know, he uh didn't fight for two years because he had a a problem with top rank and shit. But dude, Mike ain't fought no big names, man. And this niggas, it was it was niggas in the smaller weight classes that he could have fought. You know what I mean? Who well, Mike? Yeah. But you, but you like you said in this boxing world, man. In this boxing world, what is what is silently he did come from. Before, Mike, before I heard Mike Garcia fight Adrian Bryant, I only heard of the nigga once, and he was on the undercard. Yeah. So, they don't throw you out there to a nigga with a name, but they don't put you up against the best shit. Adrian Bryant, he, he's really, I'm telling you, he's really at the low bottom of, I'm not going to say up to, not, not ratings-wise, but as far as name-wise. Like, they're not going to send him out to the Sean Porter. But Sean Porter beat Adrian Bronner. Then you got to go to Adrian Bronner to get to Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's at the bottom. He's at the bottom. He ain't at the top. There's so many more fighters over Adrian Bronner, son. Like, is this? I don't find it no wolf fight, man. And Mikey Garcia coming in quiet the same way Marcos McDonough coming in. You feel me? Not saying shit. You know what I'm saying? No, he don't come in that big, man. He's short. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know he's short, but I'm saying like Mikey Little though, no, man. Mikey Little as hell though. Like I'm telling you, you gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see though, man. Cause and then you yeah. gonna see man, how much you gonna see how much AB, how good AB is. You think AB ain't good, man? But AB, you watch no, that, you not, watch that, Marcos. It's, it's not that I don't think he not good. It's not that. It's just like I said. When AB feels like he gotta prove something, he dominates. He dominates. Yeah. When he feel like he gotta prove something, there ain't no question, bro. You know? It, when he go out there playing around, show bow hands, those niggas lose. Man, I didn't really believe you know? that. I just think that it wasn't that Michael Madonna. Well, Michael Madonna had that overhand. Another, another advantage that Mikey Garcia got is. He got the same trainer that Marcos Madonna had. Yeah, you gonna tear the motherfucking sum up, nigga. I'm telling you, I'm gonna pull out, nigga. I'm about to pull it out, nigga. Hey, I ain't seen it all here, nigga. I'm gonna be tiny, nigga. Chill, dog. When the test summer up, the summer up. You pull up on your bitch, you gave a number up. Gave a number up. You stacked off. When the test the summer up, the summer up. You trying to be rich before the summer up. Tell the summer up, tell the summer up, tell the summer up. You chill it all when the tell the summer up, tell the summer up. You pull up on your bitch, you gave a number up, gave a number up. You stacked all when the tell the summer up, tell the summer up. You trying to be rich before the summer up, the summer up, summer up, summer up. Tell the summer up, tell the summer up. Trying to be rich before the summer up, the summer up, summer up, summer up. Tell the summer up. I took a lot of losses, now I'm coming.